Many people can agree with me. Everyone has experienced a few bad moments in their childhood that they wish to forget. Unfortunately, it's these things that are so easily burned into people's memories. Have you ever had a time in your life when you would try to remember the good times in the past, only to remember something embarrassing or shameful? Sometimes people go for years without even thinking anything of it. That is, until they find something which part which triggers that particular memory that they never wanted to come back to, and with it comes a feeling of nausea and paranoia. That is what happened to me. On this particular day, it was raining. You would walk down the street to see pedestrians taking shelter on their bus stops or in big coats holding an umbrella. I myself was holding one frustrated by countless strong winds blowing it back. When I was strolling down the marketplace looking for some cheap groceries, I wanted to get home quickly since the weather wasn't the best. As I was bagging some goods, I turned my head to see a table covered with old stuff. Taking a closer look, I could see it had boxes filled with VHS tapes lined up on their sides. Most of them were rather old children's shows such as Bob the Builder and Thomas and Friends. None of them looked pirated to be honest. One video case I saw was labeled Teletubbies. I know I'm too old to, in to even be interested, but for some strange reason I had the urge to buy it. I picked up the case to look at it. What I saw made me jump easily, like slightly. I saw the image of a bear. As previously mentioned, some things really bring back bad memories almost instantly. I almost, as soon as I saw that bear, so many things had gone into my mind. Horrible things. Things I just can't even get myself to say. These thoughts made me really shaky and nauseated. Despite my feelings, I gave the cashier his money and put it in a bag with all my other stuff. When I looked back up, the cashier just smiled at me, not in the have a nice day sort of smile, but more of a glad it happened type smile. I didn't smile back. I just walked away trying to get to my car. As I drove home, all I could think about was that bear. I wouldn't go on to one thought then just end up thinking of it again. Each time bringing that sudden feeling of fear. When I got home at about 6 p.m., I put the tape to the side while I sorted my food out. Once I was done, I knew that the only thing I could do was watch the tape. After setting up my old VHS recorder, I stood and stared at the tape again. This time, I noticed that there were features that I previously gave no attention to. There was no company logos or symbols on the case, and no information on the back. I opened the case to see that the tape had nothing on it but the word Seesaw written in black marker. I rushed to put the tape in, hoping to get it over and done with. I saw that the tape was almost halfway through, so I rewound it to the beginning. When it was done, I pressed play to see that it was nothing but, like, pitch black. I fast-forwarded the tape until it was on the same place before I reminded, rewinded it. Strangely, this was actually right before the images actually appeared on screen. I grabbed the chair from my kitchen and placed it in front of me, and I sat down and pressed the play button. What was clearly the opening for Teletubbies had begun, with the theme music playing quietly. The music was filled with static noise and a high-frequency buzzing. I noticed that it must have been cut, skipping the Sun Baby in the logo. I couldn't help but notice the image it had. It had horrible quality and appeared as if the tape was decades old. The image was shaky and had a layer of static that constantly fuzzed. The color was also really bland and gray. As the Teletubbies ran down the hill, the footage suddenly cut to them staring at the camera. It cut again to view an empty field with small hills. The music stopped suddenly and an image of the seesaw flashed on screen, with a little boy on each side moving it up and down. Then the field came back into view. The only thing I could hear now was that buzzing, and a small figure appeared in the distance of the field. 
The buzzing noise became louder. The seesaw image flashed on screen again. The buzzing momentarily silences as the echoey voice of an elderly woman could be heard slowly getting louder. The image flashed on screen again. The screen slowly zoomed into the distant object as the buzzing noise came back. The woman's voice slowly echoed, I'm coming, I'm coming. A high-pitched screech was audible as it slowly zoomed. A face briefly flashed on screen, and things started to get tense. At this point, I was too frightened to turn the volume down. I'm coming. Or no, I'm the bear. And I'm coming. The horrific sound of children crying could be heard. The camera began to zoom onto the bear's face as the seat all flashed on screen again. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming to get you. The, f the image flashed on screen once more. The seesaw had stopped and the boys were just staring blankly at each other. The f camera had finally zoomed in to full view on the bear's face. Its mouth moved up and down as it echoed, I'm coming, I'm coming to get you, and I will get you. The bear's eyes began to spin around. The image flashed on screen. A now blood-covered seesaw appeared and was surrounded by what appeared to be human remains. The dead bodies of the two young boys appeared out of nowhere and caused the seesaw to slowly move up and down. They were just laying there, their clothes soaked in blood. The sound finally stopped, and I sat and stared at the image for a minute before it went black. Needless to say... After that minute had passed, I had immediately grabbed the tape out of the machine and threw it into the bin, along with the case. That night, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't stop thinking about what I saw. I had to frequently, frequently check my windows. This couldn't have lasted all night as, when I sat down to try to calm myself, I must have finally fell asleep. The next morning, I had work to, that I needed to finish on my laptop. As I was checking my emails, I stared at my desktop background. It was a photo of me and my friend in a field. I saw a small figure on it that I don't remember being there before. I found my original, the original image in my files and zoomed in on it. It was the bear.